President Obama announcing a $30 billion small business lending fund. The fund will offer banks capital investments and offer them incentives to lend. Is it enough to get the money in the hands of businesses that need it most, though? Let's ask our guest. Mike Bray joins us from Washington, D.C. He is the owner of a Maryland-based small business called Hobby Works. And in Los Angeles, we have Bob Coleman. He is the editor of the Coleman Report, a small business banker newsletter. Uh, Mr. Bray, if I could start with you, you know, sure. I, I read your comments talking about th this actual proposal itself and saying that you're not sure it actually helps you in any way, shape, or form. Can you walk us through why? Well, uh, it's good to see that the uh, administration is, is finally, you know, we're, we're finally trying to get the money to where the rubber meets the road. And as a small business person, I, I'm gl glad to see that kind of thing. But uh, some of the things, the tax credit in particular, um, I don't see that really helping. I mean, it's great windfall if you're already going to hire somebody new, um, yeah. but it's certainly not enough to push somebody over the edge and make them hire somebody if they weren't planning to before. Mm. Hey, Bob, um, since you, your, your newsletter, I guess, is geared towards the small banker, or at least the banker, give us a sense yes. of what, what's different this time. There's $30 billion going to the banks. There was $700 billion going to the banks last time, but they didn't lend. So why is this going to uh, spur lending? Well, the big difference is the $700 billion with the B was geared for Wall Street, yeah. and not a lot of that trickled down to the community banks. This is going to trickle down to the community banks. Uh, the community bankers who I talk to, uh, most of them support it, and the nice thing about it, those who don't like it, they don't have to opt in. So I, I, exactly what Mike was saying, where the rubber can, can meets I, the can road. I, just add, we I want, hate to do this, but could you just explain what's different about this? I mean, isn't there a better interest rate that the bankers pay if they, in fact, loan the money out? The incentive. Well, yeah. Well, the biggest difference is the government's not going to want a piece of the pie, piece of the bank. Uh, the bank, these smaller community banks, they don't have to give up equity, so they're going to be not as leery of getting in partnership with the government for the program. Uh, that's, I think, the biggest situation. And also, Bob, the big difference here on the two programs in to spur lending, you bring up the great, great point that the one, other one was targeted toward the big banks. This one, the community banks, the 8,000 out there, community regional banks, and specifically the way that it's set up finally with some incentives or strings attached, if you will, that the dividend that the banks would have to pay to the Treasury goes down, lowers each year, based on their increase in lending from 2009 to 2010. That's a huge incentive. Absolutely. Um, you know, these community banks, they're small businesses themselves. Um, they don't have rafts and staffs of attorneys and accountants, so they want to make life as simple as possible for them to do business. And the bottom line of all this proposal is getting money to Main Street. That's what the administration, they're not tone deaf. That's but, what they want to do. Mike, you know, I, they talk about giving money away as if they actually have any money to give away. <laughs> I read this, and as a small business owner myself, I think you'll relate. I, my biggest concern is I, when I start reading stuff I don't understand that say banks will be eligible to receive 3 to 5% of risk-weighted assets, but only if they have a billion dollars in assets will they be re eligible. This, doesn't, this does not provide confidence, which is the only thing that will make you go higher. What about that, Mike? Well, that's absolutely true. And, you know, as a small business person, you know, you don't, you don't wait until you already have sales coming in the door before you start thinking about expanding. You're always looking ahead. And the number one thing you need looking ahead is confidence that things are going to go better. And I don't understand any of what you just said to me either, but uh, to me, this is pretty simple. You know, you, it's business. You need more pluses than minuses. Um, <laughs> and, you know, and uh, so, you know, uh, it's great to see them uh, getting the money in the hands of the community banks. I actually deal with a small community bank. I know these people for a long, long time, um, and they know what kind of business person I am. And, and so I think that's a great thing. I, you know, I think it's very unfortunate we spent $700 billion to put them out, and we didn't t tie any strings to the, the top yeah. 700. This is at least tied to it. I just hate the fact, Bob, I'll let you comment on this, the fact that it's coming from TARP. You have about 30 seconds. Coming from TARP, TARP repayment. This is like a slush fund for, you know, the, the administration saying, hey, I, this is a good place to throw $30 billion. Boy, you know, that's unfortunate, and I hate to be the TARP apologist, and I really hate to see <laughs> that they targeting this from TARP, um, I, you know, that's political, and I understand the political side of it, but the bottom line is we have to help Main Street, and if they want to say it's from TARP, 
historically small business has been a bipartisan issue on the Hill. And I understand if they're going to take it from TARP, that that's going to be an issue and that's a problem. Cut the taxes yeah. instead. Mike. That's where they should have started. You know, small, not left them out in the beginning with that $700 well, maybe million. They, just they should have enforced the include laws. Them. Well, that too. Yeah. Uh, thank you both very much for joining us for Happy Hour. Mike Bray, owner thank of you. Hobby Works. Go visit his store, Thanks everyone. And Bob Coleman, editor of The Coleman Report. And on tap on Happy Hour, folks, well, Toyota thinks it has a.